Good feeling your appropriate time of day here, my little chickadees. Um, today is go out and commit a hate crime against the sun gods because they're evil sons of bitches days. Um, yeah, I woke up this morning, woke from my wondrous slumber to find what what surprise to my to my groggy, sticky, cred-filled eyes, but. Finally, that the extreme cold we had been experiencing here in good old Philadelphia had finally been validated. Yes, that's right, there was snow. Not an ass load of snow, but there was snow. And my first thought, of course, was Whee! Snow! Snow, 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 snow as is usually the case. This is the first time all year that it has snowed and stuck. Now, why are we committing hate crimes against the evil, maniacal, fucking assholes of sun gods? Because they melted it. Yes, that's right. Fucking cold for the past three or four days. And today is the day when the sun decides to show its ass. And, um melt all our precious snow. The upside? It's somewhat standable outside. The downside? Both downsides. A. No more snow. B. Everything's wet now. Wet and muddy. Uh, so, in other news, um, I got a TV. Now, this may not be such a big deal to Sony. But you got to realize that I haven't had a TV all year. Um, I don't really watch TV all that much. Uh, but I kind of need it anyway because my satire class uh, pretty much requires us to watch The Daily Show and The Colbert Report. So... Now I have a TV. Do you like to see my TV? Okay. See that? That is my TV. Yes, it's a little fucker. Yes, it has dirty dishes on top of it. But that is my TV. So, anything else in the news today? Oh, I got another package. I don't know what's in this one yet, because I haven't actually opened it. Um, could be a CD. Could be... Oh, yes, it is a CD. In fact, oh, it's a third CD from the streets. You guys don't know who the streets are? Um, go look them up on LimeWire or whatever you personally use to illegally download your music. Um, there, uh, it's basically, um, Michael... Fuck, what's his name? Um, Mike Skinner. Mike Skinner is a... That's his, his stage name is The Streets. He's a, um... It's kind of like a Nine Inch Nails thing. There's only really actually one guy, you know, like, you know how Nine Inch Nails, back in the olden days, it wasn't a whole band, it was just Trent Reznor, and the Nine Inch Nails band was only used for, um, concerts, which really confused people, so they thought Nine Inch Nails was a group, was a group of people, when it wasn't. Yeah, The Streets is kind of like that, it sounds like it should be a group of people, it's just Mike Skinner. He's an English rapper, and it's not, like, normal rap, it's closer to, like, the gorillas and shit like that. So, if you like the gorillas, listen to a couple tracks from the streets. Um, not you, little kitties, because um, there, if there's any little kitties watching my videos, granted you'll already be corrupted enough, but um, there is, of course, language, and um, there's heavy, heavy drug usage. Um, but, yeah, so, listen to Gorillas and the Streets. Um, bah, 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 bah. Uh, today is very, very, another very ADD day in the best way humanly possible. Oh! Satire this morning. And, you know what I realized during satire? Literary critics have a sucky job. No, no, not even literary critics. We'll not go with literary critics, because they can have a good job. Let's go with, um, ah, okay, literary scholars. 
like not the teacher ones, but just the ones that like study literature. Okay, you got it? Think about what they do. It's the same thing with philosophy scholars, by the way. They argue about philosophical and literary subjects and they're arguing with dead people. Okay? Think how much that must suck to realize. I realized this because in satire this morning we were going over um, theories, like uh, theories of satire, right? And we were having arguments with each other and, and explaining why we the whole class pretty much didn't believe this one guy, and I just realized <gasps> none of us believe him. So essentially, we're arguing with and trying to convince a man that has been dead for at least 50 years. We're obviously not trying to convince anybody in the class because just about everybody agreed on it. Does this sound really silly to anybody else but me? I mean, it seems like just a very stupid idea to be arguing with a dead person. Now granted, I know that dead people in our society have a very, very high status. I mean, mausoleums and shit sometimes they get nicer homes than we do, though granted colder and shitload less carpet. Um, and, you know, We've had dead dead people win elections. We've had a lot of dead people vote. Um, so obviously the dead has a high status in our, our society, but I still don't think we should argue with them, mainly because of the fact that, um, you know, they're, they're fucking dead. They can't defend themselves if they're dead. You know what I mean? I'm not saying we shouldn't argue it, I'm saying we should talk about it, but what we should do is we should go out on a field trip to find people who agree with these motherfuckers and argue with them. Argue with them. Don't argue with the dead guy. It's not his problem anymore. <sighs> I have art history at 1.30 and right now here it is... 1237. 1237. And so... Hmm. Hmm. I leave you for now. I think. Goodbye. They're fucking dead!